settled in, gotten everything set up. We're here at Davis Lakes Campground in Suffolk, Virginia. Quite chilly, but we have a heater. Um, super excited to see how it works with our runaway. We're going to get a, um, a temperature gauge and we're going to see if the heater really works. We'll let you know. So we stayed in spot F35, which was right across from their Sunset um, restaurant and Lake Helen, which is the swimming lake. So now this campground doesn't have allow any tent sites, and we were the smallest camper there by far. Um, but it was really nice because we were right across from the bathhouse. And so I would suggest staying near Lake Helen if you don't have a bathroom like we do in our trailer. They had about two showers and two bathroom stalls. So Brennan, of course, had to get a little sticker for our cooler. That's going to be one of our new camping traditions, to add a sticker of every place we stay. So here we are driving through downtown Suffolk. Not a lot of things were open because of COVID, but I could tell there were a lot of cute restaurants, a lot of historic buildings, and it was really pretty. It just was nice to check out the local area. We weren't able to record a lot of audio just because of how windy it was outside. So we thought we'd take you through a drive-through tour. This place is pretty big. They have three lakes. We're driving by Lake Helen right now. You can tell there's a lot of long-term RV residents. And then right here, we're driving by some of the cabins that you can rent. And they have quite a few options. So all of the cabins have their own bathrooms. So there's actually only one bathhouse on the whole campground. So you want to make sure you stay near there if you're in a runaway or a small teardrop without a restroom. And uh, here we're driving by this huge rental. I think it was called Eagle's Nest and that one was really, really pretty. So that would be nice to, if you're staying with multiple families, you could use your runaway, they could stay in a cabin, um, just kind of a nice place to get together. They had a, a game room, a restaurant. None of that was open right now, but um, they also have these lakes. So this is the biggest lake of the three. This is Lake Neal. And people take their boats out, kayaks and paddle boarding. You're also allowed to fish in this lake. Um, lake Helen, which was the one we first saw, that's the only place you're allowed to swim. Now this place is pet friendly, but dogs are not allowed on the beach, just so you know. And they don't allow pit bulls. So we only stayed at this campground one night. It was pretty cold and windy. We didn't end up cooking any of our food with our propane stove. And we didn't really stay very long or do very many activities. It did end up getting kind of chilly in the runaway at night. We were kind of scared to run the little heater, but we relied on our heated blanket. And when we woke up, it was about 41 degrees with a lot of condensation inside. But um, it, we just decided that we can't wait to camp when it's warm. And we're excited to use it in the spring. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more of our adventures.